In statistics, an ancillary statistic is a statistic whose sampling distribution does not depend on the parameters of the model. An ancillary statistic is a pivotal quantity that is also a statistic. Ancillary statistics can be used to construct prediction intervals. This concept was introduced by the statistical geneticist Sir Ronald Fisher. Example. Suppose x1, xn are independent and identically distributed, and are normally distributed with unknown expected value mu and known variance 1. Let be the sample mean. The following statistical measures of dispersion of the sample range. Max minus min. Interquartile range. Q3 minus Q1, sample variance, are all ancillary statistics, because their sampling distributions do not change as mu changes. Computationally, this is because in the formulas, the mu terms cancel, adding a constant number to a distribution changes its sample maximum and minimum by the same amount. So it does not change their difference, and likewise for others. These measures of dispersion do not depend on location. Conversely, given I, I, D, normal variables with known mean 1 and unknown variance sigma 2, the sample mean is not an ancillary statistic of the variance, as the sampling distribution of the sample mean is n, which does depend on sigma 2. This measure of location depends on dispersion. Ancillary complement. Given a statistic T that is not sufficient, an ancillary complement is a statistic U that is ancillary and such that is sufficient. Intuitively, an ancillary complement adds the missing information. The statistic is particularly useful if one takes T to be a maximum likelihood estimator, which in general will not be sufficient. Then one can ask for an ancillary complement. In this case, Fisher argues that one must condition on an ancillary complement to determine information content. One should consider the Fisher information content of T to not be the marginal of T, but the conditional distribution of T, given U. How much information does T add? This is not possible in general, as no ancillary complement need exist, and if one exists, it need not be unique. Nor does a maximum ancillary complement exist. Example in baseball, suppose a scout observes a batter in N at bats. Suppose that the number N is chosen by some random process that is independent of the batter's ability, say a coin is tossed after each at bat and the result determines whether the scout will stay to watch the batter's next at bat. The eventual data are the number N of at bats and the number X of hits. The data are a sufficient statistic. The observed batting average x, n fails to convey all of the information available in the data because it fails to report the number n of at bats. The number n of at bats is an ancillary statistic because it is a part of the observable data and its probability distribution does not depend on the batter's ability since it was chosen by a random process independent of the batter's ability. This ancillary statistic is an ancillary complement to the observed batting average x, n, i.e., the batting average x, n is not a sufficient statistic, in that it conveys less than all of the relevant information in the data, but conjoined with n, it becomes sufficient.